don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description at the start of this course you will find a section preparing for Python development and in that section it was a an overview of some of the key skills as well as introducing you to some of the technologies that we'll be utilizing throughout the course readying you and preparing you to set up and to familiarize yourself with those tools a section within the python development preparing for python development was the formatting and linting options that we installed so part of that process we installed a rough which is ultimately a tool which has started to replace some of the commonly used linting and formatting tools a black flake 8 pilot and it places basically places everything into one tool and does that with exceptional performance in comparison to the other tools that i mentioned now something that we need to do is actually set it up so it works within visual studio code if you haven't already done that so i just wanted to quickly mention it here so if you are set up if you have followed those guides then you won't need to follow this but if you haven't and you'd like to um, set this so that as and when we start developing or going through exercise in this section of the course we're just going to use a little bit of formatting and linting to help us identify any issues and to visually prepare our code consistently throughout all of our code base so if you haven't set this up then go into the extensions if you're using visual studio code if not you can download this via uh, pypy so pip install rough that should download this and you should be able to set it up from there but we are demonstrating the setup here in visual studio code now uh, let's just make sure it's installed so extensions here on the left hand side search for rough install and then let's go over to our project so we're going to create a project settings a project setting for this so let's go ahead and create a new folder called dot code uh, vs code sorry and inside of there we're going to extend the vs code settings so uh, a new file we're going to call that settings.json and inside of here we're just going to apply a few settings so that rough uh, works automatically within um, our environment so a few settings I'm just going to bring them straight in and then explain so this is Python specific settings um, be careful with the formatting and syntax uh, when you copy this out this will be available you can um, in pretty much all of our exercises you can download this and copy this uh, so first of all we make sure that the editor um, saves automatically so rough will come with a an editor a uh, formatter sorry which will format our code consistently so it make changes to our code to format to present it on the screen consistently so that is set to true so whenever we press save that will be initiated so next up we have the editor code action on save so when we save what will happen here is that rough will attempt to fix any obvious errors and then in addition to that it will also organize any imports that we might have at the top of any of our modules so imports the imports will be organized um, nice and neatly at the top uh, we have a look at that in action in a second and then finally we define the default formatter which is rough so we do that by typing in charlie marsh rough and then finally this setting here the rulers uh, that if you set if you set that take a look at some code if i zoom out a bit uh, if we set that you will find that in our code base so python you see on the right hand side here there's a line going down the page so that indicates the maximum line length that we are using so and it indicates for us to identify when we might want to um, structure our code more appropriately but in addition to that we will also be able to see where the formatter will change so if I were to open up models, I can give you a quick demonstration of that. So if I change this name to something ridiculous. As the line gets over, so I'm pressing save, nothing happens. But as soon as I get over that line and press save, you can see that's then nice and neatly then being prepared by rough in a way that where we don't go over that maximum line length. 
in addition to that, once you have configured those settings, maybe you need to restart Visual Studio Code for it to take um, take effect. But once you go back into your models, for example, if I press save here, you can see um, there's only one line space. Well, this is going to format the code for us. You see there's now two line spaces. So that's uh, a stylistic guideline which is going to be followed and applied to our code. One of many um, stylistic guidelines that Rough is going to format nicely for us. So ultimately what we end up with is a very visually pleasing and consistent code base throughout all the code that we create. Now anytime we make any mistakes or potentially, uh, let's go ahead and import OS here, oh, import OS. So notice um, I press save and it disappeared because if I hover over it, Rough tells us that we haven't used that import. Now because in the settings here we've defined uh, fix all, it does mean that this problem is going to be try to be fixed and that fix is to remove it. So when I press save, you can see it disappears. So Rough removes that for us because we've set the uh, source fix all explicit. Now, uh, in addition to that, notice that the imports, when I press save, they automatically get formatted for us. So there, there are different types of imports like I explained in the guides at the start of this course. So you can see here that that UUID goes to the top and these here are all bunched together. So it does organize them into different types of imports as well. So there's a few things that will be really useful as we are developing our code from a visual, visual perspective. Right, so this is going to be our setup for the rest of the course. Any more specific information, then do check out the guides if you haven't already done so at the start of the course, which should go into a little bit more detail.